In less than two years since launching, the James Webb Space Telescope has changed the way we understand the universe. For scientists, the images it's taken offer new possibilities for astrophysics. And for the rest of us, they are simply stunning to behold. So let's have a look at a few of the best ones snapped in 2023. The James Webb Space Telescope doesn't orbit Earth, unlike the International Space Station. Instead, it circles the Sun, too, one and a half million kilometers out from our planet at what's called the Lagrange Two Point. The instruments are sheltered by a multi layered high tech shield that screens out nearly all solar radiation. The telescope's 25 square meters of mirror, made up of hexagonal segments, are able to detect radiation largely in the infrared part of the spectrum. That means its sensors can also provide information on targets that are hidden by dust and gas at vast distances. The James Webb is much more sensitive than its 30-year-old predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, and it works differently. The Hubble detects primarily visible light, um, which is the light that we see with our own eyes, while Webb observes in the infrared. So they are really complementary. Then Webb has, is the largest mirror in space, much larger than, than Hubble, um, and that gives it a sensitivity 100 times better than Hubble. In 2023, the James Webb, for instance, revealed galaxies at distances never observed before, snapshots of very early periods in the history of the universe. We call the James Webb Space Telescope a time machine. And in the first years, uh, it has already uncovered thousands of these very early luminous objects and first galaxies in the universe. And some of the record holders um, are found to be um, at 300 million years after the Big Bang. So that's really um, a surprise. But researchers are also mining its images for data on things much closer to home, like this recent picture of the heart of our own Milky Way. Other gorgeous shots taken in 2023 include this one of a spiral galaxy called M51, stunning in its complexity. And new takes on a well-known celestial phenomenon called the Ring Nebula, snapped in both the near-infrared range and the mid-infrared. The telescope also detected a crucial carbon molecule for the first time in the dust of a forming planetary system around 1,500 light years away. This discovery is really exciting because carbon molecules are the foundation of all known life. And finding these molecules can really help us understanding how life developed on Earth, but also in other places in the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope also looked with startling clarity and detail at planets in our own solar system, along with their moons. In 2023, the telescope revealed even more of the wonders and mysteries of the universe around us, and should continue to do so for decades to come. Some fantastic images there. We could talk more about them with science journalist and astronomer Daniel Fisher. Daniel, thanks for joining us. Tell me what your favorite results have been this year from the telescope. Oh, there is so much going on. Um, once the uh, first data from the telescope uh, reached the public, uh, reached the public as well as the scientific world, the people have been falling all over themselves analyzing the flood of data. And um, it's going everywhere from the solar system to the farthest regions of the universe where we have Good stuff. If I want to pick one result I found particularly stunning, that happened quite close by in the Orion Nebula, where uh, a lot of free-floating planets, so to speak, planets without stars were found, and many of them came in pairs. These uh, jumbos, as they were called, uh, were one of the biggest surprises, I must say, we had this year. But there is so much going on. We have several new scientific papers, some dozens of pages long every day since the middle of last year, and this is just the beginning. This will continue for several decades to come. So we can already say that uh, Webb is the big discovery machine of astronomy these days. What makes it such a big discovery machine, as you say? I mean, for, for someone who's not a scientist, it's just taking images of space. How, does, how do these images help us understand what we're looking at, the origins of the universe? 
First of all, this telescope is very big, 6.5 meters in diameter, and it looks into the infrareds, which means that you can both look uh, deeper into dusty and dense uh, things close by and into the most distant universe, where the redshift of the expanding universe is uh, moving everything from the visible into the infrared light. And um, we are, what we are seeing there are lots of uh, distant galaxies, more than expected, and this is one of the biggest uh, surprises so far and one of the biggest subjects of discussion. How many are there too many? Uh, how much is there going on that's beyond expectations? And um, do we have to change uh, part of our understanding of the early universe based on these data? There's a huge discussion going on just before when uh, before Christmas. A new paper came out that suggested that there were black holes from before the Big Bang that were playing a role there. <laughs> but very funny what people are thinking about these days. But this is all real science based now on real data. And this is why this telescope has been so important and will be so important to actually understand our cosmic, uh, our cosmic unit, our cosmic uh, home. Okay, so the idea of black holes before the Big Bang, that, that already is probably yeah. too much for me to, <laughs> to think about. For, um, me as, for me as well, I must say. <laughs> so that's one of the big questions. What are some of the other big questions that are still left to I mean, there's a lot, of course, but some of the immediate big questions left to answer. The one, of course, is what's going on in the early universe and how did this all begin and um, what does it mean for the future? But also the question is, and this question everybody asks, is, is there life out there? Um, it was already briefly mentioned in the clip that um, we are discovering some interesting molecules in uh, interstellar clouds. Um, but what's probably more important is Hubble is very well suited to, uh, to study the atmospheres of the planets of other stars. Mm -hmm. Also something we couldn't even dream about like 25 years ago. And um, we already have seen some test observations, some early observations that show the capabilities of the telescope. So it may well happen that in the next five to 10 years, we discover some really weird, unexpected chemistry in the atmospheres of other planets, we may, which may tell us something about how life might have evolved or might be evolving maybe in other worlds. That would be one of the greatest discoveries of all times, I say. Good stuff. Daniel Fisher, science journalist, going boldly where others have gone before DW. Thanks very much for your insights on the telescope. Thanks for having me.